With the rest of Papua New Guinea focusing on the national general elections, staff of the National Development Bank recently celebrated a significant milestone, its 50th anniversary. What started out as the Papua and New Guinea Development Bank on the 6th of July 1967 has undergone significant changes since its inception. According to NDB Managing Director Moses Liu, despite several name changes, the NDB has remained true to its focus, empowering the indigenous people of this country. And that is to empower and create wealth for the people of Papua New Guinea by providing innovative, affordable and demand-driven products and services. To facilitate the growth of the local SME sector in the country by providing affordable credit to start and grow their businesses and to promote financial inclusion among our people by providing lower cost savings accounts and to mobilize capital to secure the financial future. For William Lamour, who has been at the head of the board of NDB since 2004, the achievements of NDB, especially since its corporatization in 2004, is something to be proud of, especially given the growth of its loan book, driven by interest from the SME sector. NDB has been uh, championing the resolve to grow the local SME sector. Demand of uh, SME loans, we all are aware of that one. We've now grown over 20% in the last five years and will continue to grow. Trade, Commerce and Industry Minister Richard Maru was also present at the occasion and spoke about the achievements of NDB. As its managing director during the corporatization program, Minister Maru was part of the team that undertook the rehabilitation and restructure exercise, which has been the catalyst for growth for NDB. No one can dispute that NDB supported and started the first million years of our country. Many of our local businesses become very big businesses have started because of the initial loan from this bank. <laughs> no one can also argue that many leaders of this nation were staff at NDB. Minister Maru also reassured the NDB of the government's commitment to one day see the NDB transform into a fully-fledged commercial bank. SME sector should be given high priority. The government need, re, needs to relook at its policy priorities. I am saying economic growth should be number one. And one of the key pillars of economic growth is the funding of NDB into the future. I am saying this point. The NDB's 50th anniversary. The NDB. Yeah. NDB.